Today we're talking about the difference between the nice guy, the bad boy, and the good guy. AKA, I call him the good gentleman. I've been getting asked a lot recently of why my program is called a good gentleman. Why is it that I help guide my guys to be a good gentleman? And what does that even mean, right? Maybe you're watching this and you're thinking, I'm already a good gentleman, Ruby, I am. Well, let's talk about that and figure out the differences and what that all means. So let's first talk about the bad boy, because that's the one that people love to talk about and complain about saying, all women fall for the bad boys. Why do they fall for such awful people and they don't give me a chance? Let's talk about why these bad boys are attractive. Well, I'm pretty sure you know this and have seen it if you've ever kind of come across a bad boy. They are confident. They, they know who they are. They are unashamed, unapologetically themselves. And when they want something, they go after it, right? The issue is that confidence usually turns into cockiness, right? And if you think about it, what, where is the line there, right? Well, cockiness usually comes from a place when people want to share how they're better than you or if they're better than everybody else. Confident is just knowing who you are and being accepting of who you are, and that's that. See, the issue with the bad boys though, right, is that they're inconsiderate. They don't care about other people. They will step on other people to get what they want. They don't care what you think. You know, they don't, they don't care how you feel. They do what they want. And that's the issue. This is why bad boys normally get into unhealthy relationships or more likely so if a woman accepts a bad boy into her life, it becomes a toxic relationship. But why are women attracted to them? Well, because of their confidence. Confidence is sexy. And, and it is so uh, alluring when a man says he wants you. And he's not afraid to express that because these bad boys aren't afraid, right? But once again, the issue is they're just not nice people. <laughs> they're not kind, uh, they don't care, uh, and they treat people pretty badly, right? So that's the bad boys. Now, what about the other side? What about the nice guys? Well, nice guys are nice, but here's the unfortunate part. Many times, they're not as confident. They're not, they are very easy to mold. These nice guys are usually known for having crushes on friends or ladies, but won't express their feelings. You know, they'll just go on a nice dinner and hang out with them and do actions that they think may be obvious, but in reality, you can treat a friend actually the same way. But in their mind, they hope that all these actions they're taking at some point you'll notice and that you will then express your feelings to them or make it obvious. And that's why nice guys stay in that kind of friend zone for so long because they don't wanna rock the boat by expressing feelings. They're afraid to express what they want. And that usually correlates to not having that much confidence in who you are. And it, there's that uncertainty uh, in yourself. And that's why it's very easy for these guys to be molded into a completely different person just because they have a crush on this one girl. Now, yes, they are nice, but let's take away the word nice and just be kind because being kind is very important in a relationship. Being thoughtful is really important in a relationship, but you have to know yourself and be confident and not be afraid to go after what you want and being confident in knowing how you're expressing yourself. And the last issue here with nice guys I wanna say is, this is not for all nice guys, but many will even label themselves as nice. And they'll say, why don't women give me the chance? I did this and this, and she didn't even, you know, return the favor or she didn't even blah, blah, blah. Nice guys, some, like I said, not all, unfortunately have the, these angry feelings inside that only gets released when an expectation is not met. So in reality, they're doing all these nice things, but because they want something in return. And is that actually the definition of nice? I don't think so, right? You don't do actions because you're expecting her to do something back. It's like giving a gift. I like to think when I give gifts, I'm not expecting something in return from my friends. I'm giving it because I genuinely want to give it, right? So now where does a good guy come in? The good guy is a mix of both. The good guy knows who he is, is confident in who he is, isn't afraid to express his feelings and go after what he wants, 
but he's kind, he's considerate, he's respectful, he will listen to you. He'll challenge you, but in a, in a healthy way because he wants to grow and he wants to help you grow. But he's not inconsiderate on this side, he's not disrespectful, but he's also not gonna mold for you because he knows who he is. He doesn't think he's better than you, but he knows how he wants his life to turn out and what he's looking for in a relationship. That is a good gentleman. The person who is super authentic. He's just him. He doesn't seek approval from anybody else and he accepts himself just the way he is. And that's why many times in my program, most of my guys are the nice guys and I'm helping them build who they are, rebuild their confidence, gain hope in themselves in dating. And that's why I've always said, the number one reward for me is not them getting into relationships. It's seeing them find themselves and feel good about themselves. I feel like they deserve, you know, that love, the, the best. And they're, they, they just feel like they're at such a secure ground now. And that's why I call it a good gentleman because I help most of my guys become that good gentleman. And I've realized a lot of girls, by the way, they will say, I want that good guy. I, I want that gentleman, that good gentleman. Girls say that, at least the healthy ones who want a relationship. They don't ever say I want a nice guy or a bad boy, if that's the case, guys, that means a lady is not ready for a relationship. If she's still falling for the bad boys, let her be. If she also says, oh, I want the nice guy, that means she wants someone to have control over and to mold. You don't want those ladies. If you want a quality lady who wants a long-term relationship, she's usually the one saying she wants the good guys. So that's where I come in and that's why I call my program Good Gentlemen. If you're ever interested in learning more or talking to me, it's free. So go ahead and click the link in the bio and let's chat and see where you're at in the scale and if we can build your confidence and bring you to being that good guy. All right, thank you guys so much for watching.